Good afternoon and welcome back to Asgard and today I want to quickly show you guys a really quick and easy and really really cheap tutorial for the Spectrolis um, from Batania. <clears throat> so if you want to get this flower up and going um, of course actually setting it up the legit way is is pretty time consuming it takes a lot of setup it's also a really big build that's one thing that bothers me is it has to be so so big um, you know to manage all the different kind, kinds of wool and everything coming in so what the things you're gonna need is you're just gonna need a mana pool you're gonna need a mana spreader it doesn't have to be Gaia um, you're gonna need some wool of course coming in and only white wool that's the only color of wool that you're going to need <clears throat> a world interaction upgrade a transfer node from extra utilities for items and item filter from extra utilities and then we're also going to want an item dropper I'm gonna use the open blocks one but of course there's different variations that you can use um, you're also going to need just a little bit of power you're gonna need a couple autonomous activators a transfer uh, actually you just need one transfer pipe a timer um, some kind of blocks to build with a spectrolis and a wand of the forest or you're gonna need two spectrolis sorry um, and so basically let's go ahead and set up our autonomous activators first Let me grab these <clears throat> and we're gonna put one facing this way and one facing here and we'll go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and clear this configuration and this one is going to be set to left click and then this one we're gonna say it's going to input from the top and it's gonna be left on right click and then let's go ahead and just give them power. Of course, you could run your conduits, you know, under the ground here or whatever. Um, you know, if you don't want those showing, that's fine. So we'll just give those power. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set up our transfer node. And we're going to give it the world interaction upgrade. And then we're also going to give it an item filter that says it can only pick up Spectrolis and we're going to put that in there and then <clears throat> let's just put a block right here um, basically just to keep the spectrolis from falling out we're going to set up our Gaia mana spreader right there or our any kind of mana spreader and we're going to put a mana pool over here for it to feed into and let's go ahead and just link those up like that and then Let's go ahead and set up our item dropper right here, our dirt, and then we're going to set up our timer right here. And we're going to set it to 1.6 seconds because that's about the amount of time. That's, just, that's pretty well perfect from what I've noticed um, <clears throat> on the timing. And then we're going to link our transfer pipes over to our autonomous activator and then let's go ahead and just set up our creative cache right there oh and let's grab um, just an item conduit my bad or any kind of you know item transfer so we'll just put that right there and have it insert and then we're just going to add a bunch of wool into this. And we actually don't want that feeding in right now. Let's go ahead and throw our two Spectrolis into there. And you'll notice that this is dropping quick enough that it eats the eats the wool and then it replaces it with a new one because what happens is a spectrolis of course it requires all that different colors of wool um, to function but um, when it gets broken and replaced it only requires white wool so um, now we can have it you know pretty well automated now if you only have one spectrolis if you don't want to make two you can do that and um, you'll just set the timer to about three seconds right around in there and um, then that should be good and now really really quickly let's go ahead and just set this up to shut off once it gets um, you know once it gets full and it's pretty basic um, of course I've covered this before we'll throw down a comparator right there and we're gonna go ahead and just set a, 
uh, bookcase from Bibliocraft. We'll take the Redstone Volume 1 and put it in like the, um, say the 14th slot or so. So that way, once it gets just about full, it will shut off. And we'll go ahead and run that out. We'll add a repeater. And then we'll just run this Redstone up to there. And so now, if we grab, whoops, like say some black, black lotus, black ur lotus, and we throw it in there, you'll notice that the redstone goes off and it shuts that off. <clears throat> now you could take it a step further if you wanted to and set that to low redstone and you could always set up a repeater oops, and just bring your redstone in and that's going to stop it from breaking it so and then um, of course once your mana pool gets emptied or whatever um, it'll start back up, it'll start breaking so if you don't want it to use the power to break in place and also have the noise that's fine too um, and you could always do this a bit more compact with say wireless redstone or something um, but yeah, so that's the tutorial, um, and it's pretty easy to set up, pretty cheap, because normally you would have to have quite a, quite a large, any, any way that I've ever set up the Spectrolis, um, like the legitimate way, um, of course you need like a fairly large redstone setup and everything, and, um, it takes quite a bit of setup time, whereas this is fairly cheap and it's really, you know, it's the exact same thing, it's, it's just, it's just easier and it only requires white wool, so, um, but anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button and go ahead and subscribe if you're not already for more daily videos. And, um, yeah, until next episode, do take care and I hope to see you guys then.